quick preview of what you can expect in 2014. I know you've been involved with many of the yep. highlights of the Canadian cinema which have come out yeah. over the past couple of years, Cosmopolis, yep. Map to the Stars. Yep. Give us a preview of what we can expect. Well, so Maps to the Stars is my most, uh, my, I think the biggest thing that's going to happen in 2014. It's going to explode on the scene. It's uh, John Cusack, Mia Wasikowska, um, uh, Sarah Gadden, oh, wonderful. Uh, Julianne Moore, oh. uh, Olivia yeah. Williams, Rob Pattinson. Exciting. Phenomenal cast. Um, and I think it's really, uh, it's one of those movies that's so audacious. It's going to be a little like Crash and it's <laughs> in the way it affects people when they see it. So watch for that. Wonderful. And tell us about your involvement in becoming chair of this wonderful event. Sure. Well, I came, uh, I joined the Academy three years ago, the, the Academy board three years ago as chair. Mm. And the first thing we did was say, let's bring the Film and Television Awards together, make one big blockbuster night. And here we are. It's the most incredible thing. Amazing. Thank you. an infamous race call at Woodbine Racetrack. People are still talking infamous, about race call. Oh yes, uh, people are right. still talking about this wow, to this day, I about that. and they're wondering whether or not you're actually going to come back out and maybe. Uh, I would love it. That was one of the hardest things I've ever done, and I really appreciate now when they call a race how hard that is. I never tried anything like that. And, uh, it's fun, but really difficult. Yeah. Amazing. Um, any predictions for tonight at the Screen Awards? Uh, no, I mean I, I, I don't. I, I predict everybody is going to have a great time. That's really all I can predict. But uh, there's so much talent here. Anybody nominated is. Already great at what they do, and it's just fun to have everybody together. Amazing. Any surprises you can reveal with the next season of uh, Mr. D? Well, it's on right now. Um, no real surprises. Uh, no, I think it's, it's we have a shorter season, so we focused on uh, just uh, you know, keeping it as funny as we can. Sex After Kids, phenomenal performance, and I actually, yeah, I really felt your performance because you know, relationship problems. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I thank you so much. It was my like, uh, it was my attempt at a, a love letter for fans, and so not fans, but uh, uh, people who could uh, relate to the story, and so the fact that it's been received so well and people believe it is makes me happy. <laughs> exactly. Can you comment on what you're wearing? You look beautiful today. Uh, it was. Uh, my creation, also a little desperation to find something that's maternity wear. Ah. So it looks stunning. Now, uh, what's next? Oh gosh, uh, just uh, the working on the whole launch of Seed in the States and my child. Oh, obviously. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Nice speaking. To What, what can you tell us about your uh, your character in the new series Remedy, which has launched recently? I play a very troubled character named Griffin Connor, who is struggling to re reclaim his identity back in uh, back with his family and in sort of a in, in this hospital society that he he's kind of cast out of mm -hmm. because he got addicted to drugs and, and disappeared on everybody. So it's it's been incredible working. I mean, Enrico Colantoni plays my dad, Sarah Jenning, my sister, Sarah Allen, my other sister, and so it's, yeah, I'm trying to fit in with these guys. Jeez. Now, what does it mean for you as a Canadian actor? I mean, you're one of our homegrown talents from Toronto, working in Toronto, to be at an event like this where we're celebrating Canadian talent. You know, if I was anywhere but Toronto, I would say that I'm from Toronto, and I'm actually from Oakville. Ah. So, I have to say that. Um, <laughs> no, it's incredible to be here. I mean, I, you know, this is where I grew up, and to be a part of this is, is amazing. I mean, I grew up going, checking out all the people from Second City. That's kind of what drew me to the business. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, I mean, I'm not a part of that, but I'm a part of, you know, the same community that they're a part of. So that's really nice. Beautiful. Thanks so much. Hi, and we're Anna Silk, star of Lost Girl, one of our most celebrated uh, series to film in the city. Yeah. What's it like to be a Canadian girl working at home and being at an event like this where we're celebrating Canadian talent? Yeah, it's um, really nice to be asked to present this year and um, just to be part of this whole event. You know, I wasn't here last year to film this year to see the magnitude of it. Honestly, it was a little surprising to me and a pleasant surprise because I just think it's, it's about time we celebrate Canadian talent in a really big way. Of course. Any uh, any clues as what's to come next for Bo uh, on Lost Girl? I know it's kind of it's, it's a tough question, but well, I'll tell you, Bo should never get any rest. <laughs> <laughs> so there's lots of, you know, lots more adventure to come. We're all really excited that we're coming back for fifth season, and um, I hope we know what's ahead. Uh, but, uh, but more adventure. They don't exist anymore.
here with Zoe Palmer, star of Lost Girl, who did a fantastic performance in Sex After Kids. Oh, thank you very much. Completely thank something I've never seen you in. Uh, I've never seen you in a role quite like that. Yeah, so, yeah. That, no, it was fun for me. Yeah. Well, what's important to you when you choose a role? Like, I mean, your career. Challenge. Your challenge. For mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. And what do you mean would be a challenge? Well, I mean, so many things can be a challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, comedy is a challenge. Like, I think you know, comedy is not nearly um, celebrated the way that it should be, and 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 I love doing comedy. I just adore it. But I mean, so many things can be a challenge, right? It's about playing a character that might be a little bit outside yourself. That's a reach. And any time I get to do that, it's awesome. Awesome. Now, anything uh, that you can tell us about Lauren uh, uh, that might be coming up for your character, Lauren, on Lost Girl? She loves Bo, and she might cry this season. <laughs>